good morning to you all, you beautiful lot. Welcome to sunny Findon. And this is the home of Walter Nielsen. 1886 has the date. And I've had word come through from these lovely legends of Findon that there's been a bit of a problem in one of the farmer's fields. Directly above Thingdon Mines, which is a very early mine. So I don't know if you know about Erflinborough Mines, um, Ebervale, that was pretty huge and it reached all the way through to Burton Latimer, past Findon. Anyway, before that one was developed, there was the older mine, that was Walter Nielsen's. And of course it was at a time where they didn't really know too much on the health and safety and the way of doing things wasn't as good as what Ebervale Mines was. So, after hearing these reports that a sinkhole has opened up, I've made my way out here and see if we can have a butcher's. Don't know if you can see that, but the hole's steaming. <laughs> it's proper steaming, look at that. Cool. And of course the old entrance is in that woods up there, but of course it's all bulldozed in because there was a couple of kids that got lost down there and it took the mountain rangers quite a while to get them. Oh, wow. Oh, my days. Look at the size of that. Um, where have other people walked there? Sorry, Tom. I walk in the lines. Oh my days. Oh my days. Wow. Would you look at that. That's nuts. Look at the different colours in the land. I can't remember where the last time... The last time a sinkhole opened up was when it was in the middle of a football pitch. I'm not too sure where it was. But all under this land, I mean, look at the dip over there. It's mental. And the funny thing is, is the building developers wanted to build on all this. And then Alan Pack, the legend that he is, he was a mine inspector for all of this, for Ebervale Mine. I'm not too sure if it was this one, but I know Ebervale Mine. And of course, he'd done a big report. There's even a beautiful web page about what he'd done um, and what these mines are. So... Alan Pack, I'll leave his website down there. But when developers wanted to come build on this, he actually done his report and said, uh-uh, uh-uh, can't build on here. I mean, look. And you remember when I said these houses were going to be built on a mine? Well, no, no, they're not. It's very close. I mean, just in this bit of wood, there's a huge drop. So, yeah, developers, you can't build here. Um, I have got a little bit of footage of this one that was given to me by one of the locals. If you want to see Fingdom Mines, then you'll have to go up into the top link up here. Or I'll leave it actually in the description. So check that out. But right now, I'm going to send the drone up because I want to see it. But someone's ringing first. So.
mega with the drone. Absolutely love it. Uh, that, uh, you see it steam in there in the background. Right, now there is something I want to mention. Is I saw on the post last night on Finding Community Uncensored, some idiots are saying, oh, okay, can you get into the mines there? Um, just listen to what you're saying, right? You're saying that you found a sinkhole, yeah, where the mines have collapsed inside, and you want to try and enter those mines by using the sinkhole. Now, all over this land, sinkholes open up. So, do you think that's a bit silly? I mean, these ones here, I won't go nowhere near. I went in the entrance to another one, but I literally went in about a metre, just because these are so dangerous. So you think what you're doing, keep out the bloody mines. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed that video. So if you do, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you again for the next episode of Purple Vision.